Welcome back YouTube to another day of Bear Year, day number 30. So, we've nearly done 31 days, so we've nearly got a month down our belt. Today's bear is from James Squire, Stowaway. There we go. I haven't had this before, I've had a couple of his, of his um, breweries. But, uh, apparently, um, I'll read a bit on the bottle, give you a bit, a bit of info about it. They said at the at the malt brewery, he crafted beers in honour of the first point, who were on to become Australia's first brewery. So, they're Australia's first brewery, um, and they promised that it, it's in, in his favour, but a bit of a story on the bottles reading here. It says, back in the day, Indian pale ales were brewed for higher alcohol tent with extra hops to survive long seas journey from London um, to colonial India. James Squire and his, uh, had his own method surviving the hazardous voyage on the first fleet. He smuggled himself onto the woman's ship and by all reports he had a nice journey. So, yeah. And a, a bit about the blear though, I reckon it's... Um, Nice roast malt flavours, the feisty bitterness and linger, linger. So it's one and a half percent drinks, but let's get another one, another James Squire. So get stuck into it. Another one of his beers. It's an IPA. Five point six percent alcohol. Yeah, he's all beans. Starting to rain here. Big massive cyclone. A couple hundred k's away. Well, um, one thing you notice straight away, you swallow it, and normally yeah, you can taste the bitter in your mouth. It's actually at the back of the throat after you've already after you've already swallowed it. So that's a that's another pl that's another another plus, and it's also velvety. I thought when they said bitterness, it might have a real bad kick, but we'll put it in here. Yep, there it is. Not too. I wouldn't say it, it's too hard. Pretty, it's okay. Um, well, like they said, it lingers. Just got me brother over here. He's having a look at what I'm what I'm doing. What I'm doing, me beer. Yeah, he probably knows that. He's laughing his guts out at the moment, and it's got stow away. But tastes. Wouldn't say fruity. It's it's got a, a burnt. Oh, I hate using the word. Maybe charcoaly taste, burnt toast taste, but it's not that harsh, um, but yeah, they reckon it's, according to the bottle, it's, it's pretty rich, easy to drink, it's not, not bitter like you get the Aussie beers that are bitter that actually, like, burn your mouth and your throat, so to speak, like, have a bit of bark, it, it's got no bark, but it's definitely got bite after you swallow it. Lingers in your mouth for a while. Slides right down, easy drop. But anyhow, if you're looking for the heavy, you like a bit of biz bitter, charcoaly flavour, not too charcoaly flavour, if you know what I mean. Probably not. It's me raving on. This is Bear Year, day number 30. I'll speak to you tomorrow with number 31. Most importantly, be kind to one another, and I'll catch you on the flip side tomorrow. With another beer, and this is Legsy, I'll catch you on the flip side, hopefully it's tomorrow. Anyhow, see you later, go get yourself a carton of these, beautiful, catch you.